Hey guys, this is Ratchet and Sly, and we're, today we're going to do a let's play of Oddworld Stranger's Wrath HD. Um, basically, you're a bounty hunter, and you hunt people and use live ammo. And by live ammo, not gunpowder. <laughs> yeah, this is live ammo is actually alive. The um, This game was originally out for the original Xbox, and I played it on there. And I have to say, it was... That was great fun. It's the only game I ever got completed and then immediately That's started again. It's the only game I've ever done that with, but it's That's that good. Get to town. Basically, Turn if you bounty. you'll see, as we'll show you, you'll go through, you bound bag bounties off by capturing outlaws. Uh, if you capture them alive, you get more moolah, which is in game money, than you do if you bag them when they're dead. So in some parts of the game, it's possible to do. Yeah, as uh, you'll see later, some guy will fall off a cliff and basically he's fell off a cliff, you're not going to get him alive. Yeah, so there are parts where it's impossible to take him alive. Basically what we're going to do today is the first bounty, the one we just picked up then, we're going to get that to back to town, Gotta take it to the bounty that store, ledge, and that's where jump. we'll do with this video, basically. We may have to stop part way through though because our software only does 10 minutes. Which so is very, very you, annoying. <laughs> so if you notice a break, that's why. <laughs> yeah, they, there is a, a further development to the story later about the about the bounty hunter, about the stranger, what and who he is, but we're not going to tell you that because we don't want you to spoil it for you. As you can see there, he's up with the off and heals himself. Mm-hmm. Now we go through, and then beat up the guy behind us, who dare to do that. And as you see there, three stars above the head means they're knocked out. Yep. At which point you push control on the game and bounce him. I see I've got six there for Captain Alive. If he's dead, you'd only get two. And like I say, we'll talk about the live ammo in a minute when we can show you what it is. But for now, yeah, you haven't got any of it. And here we should get our first ammo now. There we go. Here's our first one. It's a chipmunks. Chipmunks are basically chipmunks with a potty mouth. I'll shoot it down there. It'll attract the enemy because it's talking. <laughs> and it'll, it'll see some annoying things. Um, yes, and then he'll get attracted to it, he'll, that'll break and he'll fall off a cliff. And this is what I mean by the I said before, we cannot capture this guy alive. It's impossible to capture him alive because he falls down and he hurts himself. Well, kills himself actually. <laughs> you press tab, you switch back into first uh, third person. You can play it in first person if you really wanted to, but to be honest it's easier to switch between them both. I mean, when you push control it automatically goes into third person, so if you wanted to stay first person the whole time, You'd have to push tab immediately afterwards, but basically, if you want to do it that way, you can. Uh, I prefer third person myself. One thing I will say about this guy is I always thought he was based on Clint Eastwood from the look of the way he looks, the clothes he wears, the way he speaks. I always thought he was based a bit on Clint Eastwood, but. I shall see later on in the thing. You've got to hunt your own ammo, and uh, I'm pretty sure Clint Eastwood never hunted with his own ammo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, I was going to say, yeah, but with a, twi a twist, a major twist. Um, major twist. Uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. Well, I'll shut up for a minute and let you watch. Hey, who's that? <laughs> And here we have the next part of the ammo. It's a um, bolamite. This is basically a spider. This thing, and what it does is it's like you tying them up in rope because it wraps around them with its web. And basically, you then go and you bounty them, and you can capture them alive. It makes life an awful lot easier. There we go. Uh 
course the archaic reloads obviously. Also if you've pushed both the mouse buttons together you can fire both at once. Which can probably come in useful with later on with harder bounties to capture. Oh it definitely does. Aha, uh -huh, now. Here is a where you have a choice. You can either go in arms swinging and beat the heck out of them, or you can do what you're supposed to do here, which is fire the chip pump and throw them away one at a time. So now you see, if I shoot like there, he should come along here. I shoot the bow of the mic. Oh, no, I'm missing. And now he's tied up. Easier to catch him. And then you the thing. Back up here. Turn around. There you go. Uh, fire the back down there. Shut your mouth, you little rat! Hello. Hello. Bam. Uh. This guy. It's another bounty. Let's move on. And now we have the next one, which is Stokes. Yeah, now those guys can be really annoying. Basically, you shoot them at the enemy, and it will cause the enemy to throw up as it's basically like a skunk kit, or at least a foul smell. I, I found that throughout the game I never really used them much, but if you, if you shoot them with them a couple of times, you can knock them out, or knock them off a cliff, or knock them out with it, and then it makes it easier to bounty. But, the thing is, they're not that useful, because there's so many other things that you can knock them out too. Yeah, as you'll see in a bit, the, uh, There's next one. Which fuzzles. Now these get interested. These are a reference to the original, to the original Munch's Odyssey, I believe. But basically, you fire them at them and they chew on them, and they they run around trying to get them out. Or you can set them as a trap as well for a minute. And here, uh, the enemies cannot swim, so if they swim there, they will die, and you can't catch them alive. They will drop them uh, new one. Because you can swim. Because you can swim, yeah. And uh, I'm not going to go collect the money now, though, because, because I want to show you the trap thing this uh, puzzle can do. And you've only got 10 seconds to do it, so if he does that, he tends to be a bit slow. <clears throat> I can lay a fuzzle trap by the way. And now, watch this. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, damn it. Oh, which key was it? Zero. There we Take go. Take him out of here. Zero. Now get to the back of the way. Now what's happening? Shoot him with that. Now one alive. Yep. When you get too many red stars, they die. Uh, there's red stars before. That's why you, fuzzles are varying degrees of success. Because the fuzzles can actually kill them. And I mean, if you're not bothered about, you know, getting the bounty alive, that's fine. But generally, you do get more if you can. Tear off your face! Right. Okay. We had to stop it there for a second, guys. So if you um, noticed the little gap there. It's just is. Going on to the next video. Uh, next one is the Zap Fly, which is Ratchet's favourite one. Yeah, I really like the Zap Fly. Apart from the fact that you get the infinite ammo out of it, it means you can taser them and that knocks them out. Don't tase me, bro! <laughs> also, as you can see here, you can use a various combination of your ammo. So, at the moment, I've got the Zap Fly and the Bowler Mic together. And if you go down, it might tell you what those others are. No, no it empty. says empty. Later on, you will get other ammo that you'll pick up. Uh, I think one of them was like a hornet or something that you can fight that fires like a machine gun. I think one of them. As you can see there, the zap fly can open doors. Also, you have to wait for it to uh, charge it before you can fire it. And the next thing is, I was talking about before, you hunt your own ammo. That's what you do here. You can use the zap fly to hunt the ammo as well. It might come out. Got all them. Let move on to the next one. Keep all the mics. Keep all the mics. If you want them. There you go. Collect all the fuzzles you need. 
There you go, you're, you're full. Yeah. Now, you, what you is do is you fire again at that electric thing in the... This, which it charges up. Fire at that. Fire at the bridge. And see these barrels over here? They fire are rather there. explosive. The boom. They go boom. Also, you saw it says spotted in the corner. If you want to do stealth, there is that's just letting you know when you've been seen. If you do like the look of this game, it is on Steam, by the way. Uh -huh. Not free, unfortunately, but I'm not sure how much it is. Keep going. Town is ahead somewhere. Keep going. Town's ahead somewhere. Yeah, we know. The town should be up this hill here. And the town is full of chickens. Yeah, chicken people. Basically, you know, some people find it really amusing to beat them up. I, I never did. And if you do that, they run into the houses and start shouting things like, take a chill pill. Oh, hey, stranger. Before we let you into town, we gotta take your weapons. You've got to take blisters to jail. And, yeah, well, basically we'll show you what happens then. And then we'll go to the bounty store, and I think that's where we're going to finish. Stranger, now go get your moolah over at the bounty store, eh? Yeah. Right, off to the bounty store we go. We get our moolah, we get the ability to take the... Over to the bounty store, which is bounty store. the left. This is all the chicken people we're talking about. Yeah, you, if, we, if we attack them now, they'd go nuts, but we won't do that because they're dead. We, I never really saw the point. Welcome to the bounty store. Hey, you must be the guy that bagged blisters out by the forest. Yeah, it's true, but I'm uh, looking for Doc. I need him to fix a problem. Well, Doc's up in his Mongo office, but he'll be back here soon. In the meantime, I'll cash out them outlaws you captured, and I got a few more for you. So here we're going to ca uh, cash out our outlaw we captured. And you shall get... Uh, 307 for him. And that's him captured alive. The next one is Filthy Hands Floyd. If you capture him dead, you're only going to get 100. If you capture him alive, you're going to get 200. So if you can, capture him alive. <laughs> However, we won't be showing you that because, as I said, we, this is, uh, you know, we'll let you do that part of the game. So I'm Ratchet, this is Sly. If you like the game, if you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, but we do, as we do ask every time, please don't swear. Kids might see it, we don't want them to see that on the comment section.